Hey, what's going on everybody? Back with another on water video for you guys today. And it's on a brand new Crescent K-Craft. So I got quite a few river trips in this boat now with all the different configurations. But today I'm just gonna show you in it's pretty much it's raw format, the performance, so you know what to expect if you're looking for this type of platform. We're gonna do a little bit of flat water here. We'll do some up and back, some turning. Then I'll do some standing, some casting. And then uh, at the end, I'll put uh, some of me running a rapid so you can see the performance you can expect. Let's get at it. Okay, for specs, this boat is 11 feet, 10 inches long, 33 inches wide, and weighs 63 pounds. It is more of a paddle slash kayak stand-up paddleboard hybrid. You can put a little motor on the back and stuff like that if you want to turn it into like a really small skiff. Very low profile, so if you want to do flats fishing or if you're in really windy conditions, it might be a nice platform for you out there as well. Has really nice tracking. It's got a little tunnel hull to it. And the front nose has a little bit of a rocker. So if you do have a little bit of bumpiness, the water will displace outwards. So it's pretty nice. Now for reference, I'm six feet, two inches tall, 270 pounds. And like I said, this boat is a flat open deck with not a lot of volume. And uh, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera good or not, but right here when I'm staring at my scuppers, I still have about a half an inch before it's to the top of the deck at my weight. Um, then here on the side, this is what I'm talking about, low profile. You know, I only have about three to four inches on the decks. So I'll try and get a little bit closer. So you see what I'm talking about. There's the water line. It's about all my four fingers at my weight. But this boat is about stability for people that want to stand fly fish. Uh, you want to take your kids, take a dog. I mean, it's infinite amount of space. Uh, I'll link my video in the description for the full walkthrough if you want to see all the configurations you can do on it. But let's do some standing. So we got the paddle keeper right up here. Put that there. Grab the rod. And I've added right up here front, we have a stand assist bar. So I just added the strap. Pull yourself up. Get yourself nice and wide on the feet. And cast away. So it's very stable, even at my size. Uh, if you like to do a lot of standing, pitching, if you like to do a lot of skipping, I mean, when you're up like this, you can do underhand skips all day. Skip right up and in, off you go. So it's got a lot of stability for its size. The only thing that's gonna keep it from being a bubba boat, you know, for those 300 pounders, is the shallow edges. You're gonna have water coming up over the side pretty quickly. And as I'm standing, we look down. Because I'm compressing on my weight in dead center, the water is to the very top of the scuppers bowl here. But yeah, very, very, very stable. Get your stand assist strap. Ease your way back in your seat. And this rod holder is just one I added. This does not come with the boat, so you're aware. But now let's do some paddle boarding. We'll go back up. So very, very nice platform overall. It's got a lot of versatility. It won't be for everyone. If you're still a traditional kayak platform guy, this isn't probably up your alley, but it's a welcome addition. It's more of the hybrid territory. So it's definitely gonna have people that desire it for its different capabilities. But due to its hull design, I have no knee knock. And it's just nice and stable. 
Can rock back and forth, not a problem. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and swap out and we'll do the fly rod and show you guys what that's gonna be. Now I'm not a perfect fly rod type of guy, always just learning. So my technique isn't perfect, I apologize. Let's go over here. I'll put the paddle down. And assist strap. All right, let's start letting some line out. But yeah, if you're a fly fisherman and you got good stability, this might be a platform that you like. As long as the water is calm, like here, I'm back in a little cut area, so really, really nice. But even, you know, fly fishing, this is a really nice platform with this open concept. And I've uh, done multiple trips in it already, and I've stood in this boat just drift fishing 20, 30 minutes straight at a time. So it's got a really nice platform to it. The seat that comes standard is the Crescent High Seat. And it stands um, 10 inches off the deck. So it's pretty easy to get up and down in the platform overall but yeah really really nice calm flat water boat i think you can do a little bit of uh, coastal stuff in the flats because it's low profile uh, like i said take a dog take your kids use it as a jump off platform for them and you can go around rivers i'm going to show you some running some rapids here of like a class one you can maybe sneak in a class two but uh, there's not a lot of volume on the side so just be careful if you get caught up on your side you don't have a lot of buffer zone there you want to take it straight on but yeah, let's go and uh, show you some moving water. All right, here we are at our rapid. We're gonna come here, hug the left-hand side. Then we have about a 40 inch gap between two rocks. We're gonna split that. And then it's gonna have a hard wall shot to our right. And then about a 100 yard long S turn, followed by another wall shot to our left. Shouldn't be a problem for the K-Craft, but that's what we're out here for, to test it out, see what we can do. Okay, right up in front of us again. We're gonna go then have a left hand corner here. We're gonna catch the current and have it pull us through. Nice and easy. Yeah, if you wanna get out and explore some creeks, smaller rivers, K-Craft can definitely handle it. All right, we got some nice standing waves here. Being that the K-Craft is such a flat platform, I do intend to have some water coming up and over the nose, but let's test it out.
Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad, though. Drains right out immediately. But pretty good performance overall. It can definitely take this around on just about any river that has class twos and lower, and it's gonna perform just fine. I hope you guys found this video insightful for the on-water performance and what you can expect if you're interested in a Crescent K craft. I'm gonna leave you with some photos of the different variations I've set the platform up with and tested. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Catch you in the next one.